it too little too late. 28 runs from six balls. It's an enormous ask. But what a 19th over from Luke Wood. Two wickets, three runs. Rubel has 28 to defend. That'll be four. An ideal start, but still a mightily long way to go. Dismissal of Wayne Bravo. Low on the bat, the inner portion as well. Didn't get the distance, and that was an easy catch for the Sarah at Lamont. And like I said, A.G. Ackerman, that 19 over would be the difference with who's going to go into the finals. And so far, it looks like the select strikers will do that. That'll be another four. This is a powerful striker of the cricket ball, Dasun Sharnaka. How much damage can he do? He needs 20 from four. So very hard no bowling for Rubel. What if he thinks? Well, I've said it's all over. He probably heard me and think it's all over, so let, let me cruise. He got to do better than that. Fours don't win it. One has to go out the ground. And then you will see the knees start to shake. He's a cool customer, this fella. He's done it at international level against the very best, Dasun Sharnaka. He's saying, come on, get on with things. Again, Mashafe Mortaza stalls proceedings. Tassara Pereira from Sri Lanka. He knows the game of Dasun Sharnaka. He has some wise words, but it doesn't matter because it's all up to Rubel. He's got to do the job. He has ball in hand. 20 from four. One has to get aerial. Brilliantly bowled. The Yorker. Beautifully bowled. There was nothing Chanaka could have done. Look at that. Perfectly pitched, right to his legs. Took away that free flowing arms. You're looking for a big hit? That was beautifully bold. He needed to do something similar with his delivery coming up, and then it's all over for sure. No wides, no no balls. Keep your foot behind the line. Shanika won't even bother running. for two deliveries. It got to be a couple of no balls, three hits and some sixes and all kind of impossible things. So you can safely say that the Silas Strikers will join the Victoria Company. The coming of Victorias in the finals. Two deliveries to go. Twenty to get. It's all over. Well, he's got it right now, Rubel. The first two deliveries went for four. But since then, he's found his mark. They're starting to celebrate already, the Silid Strikers. They were the front runners for most of this competition. And then suddenly, a couple of overseas players had to disappear. And they lost their momentum. Mashafi Mortiser does not care that mathematically his team is through. He wants the final ball bowled, and then the celebrations can begin. A wicket, a fitting way to end it. The Sillard Strikers are through to the final of the Bangladesh Premier League for 2023. What a way to play. Look at the celebrations. And they certainly, A.G. Ackerman, deserve to be in the finals. They play some wonderful cricket throughout. They were the table top of most of the competition. They had to qualify, and they did so in style. Beating the Rampo Riders by 19 runs. And look at the celebration. That means a lot to them. And they certainly are deserving to be in the finals. Well, the victory margin may say 19 runs, but I tell you what, that was a lot closer than that. The game was firmly in the hands of the Rampo Riders while Ronnie Tullockdow was at the wicket. And then there was a brief moment where the players took a break while the correct wicketkeeper came on the ground and the captain
Hampton came back on the ground. Russell Waters, he recognised that he needed to be on the field. His team value his leadership. His supporters acknowledge his leadership. And when he came back on the ground, he made a couple of big decisions, and it was one-way traffic from there on in. They were 150 for three, the Rangpur riders, and 163 for eight. In three overs, they managed just 13 runs. And that was the last delivery. And victory for the Silent Strikers. Rubel enjoyed that. They all know that they do the finals in two days' time. And look at that. Look at the celebration. It's finally over. Jubilation for them. Look at that. It means a lot to them. And like I've said, A.G. Ackerman, they deserve to be in the finals. They play some wonderful cricket throughout. They were the table toppers for most of the competition. And they deserve to be in the finals. Ronnie was superb again. 66 of just 52 deliveries. He got some uh, wonderful support from the West Indian Nicholas Puran, who really did threat with 30 of just 14. Nurul Hassan, the captain, that partnership with Ronnie was incredible. But when they got out, well, that was.